Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, there's a 50-year-old guy who lives in the great state of St. Louis. Uh, yes, and he, he got into an argument early on Saturday when he caught his nephew trying to steal his Netflix password while he was asleep. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, while he was sleeping, man. Because uh, the uncle was not sharing the password, but the nephew was like, sorry, kid, you ain't getting this. So the nephew uh, was not happy about this and uh, wound up grabbing a kitchen knife and slicing his uncle's nose. That's... Uh, that's okay. You know, maybe the uncle had a point that uh, this uh, this nephew kid, you shouldn't really do much for him. Uh, next season on Chopped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so the kid took off. Uh, we don't know if the cops have tracked him down yet. Uh, uncle was hospitalized. I, I hope he's going to be okay. But wow, that is, I mean, I, I want to watch Netflix, but I don't know if I'm going to go nose slicing if I can't. Man, I had, I don't know if you guys have ever had that awkward conversation with somebody who wanted your password, like wanted like to share services with you, like one of those streaming services. But I had that recently happen. Oh, really? Like a bud from college was like, "Hey, man," they were talking about something about Netflix, and I was, he's like, "Oh, I don't have Netflix." I'm like, "Oh, you're missing out on these shows, blah blah blah." And he's like, "Hey, how about you share your your login info then with me?" And I was oh. like, "Oh, my response no, absolutely not." <laughs> and he was butthurt about that. And how come you won't share it with me? We were buds, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, man, I don't really feel like, I, I don't know what the hell you're going to, you know, I always worry that someone's going to screw up my, my account. Like, and all of a sudden. Yes. And also, like, I like knowing that I can turn on a show and it picks up to where I left off. But what if they're watching it as well? Now I got to figure out what episode I ended on. Yeah. It's too much. I know you could, like, change it for different users, but it's just, like, too much of a headache. Yeah, you're already getting, I know what you're saying, Steve. You're getting to that point in life. When people tell you that you can do something, you go, well, I haven't gone that deep within the service to know all this stuff, so right. I'm not going that deep. And you know what? I don't need to if I don't share the password. And yeah, the like, I can just stick with how I have it, and I'm living a bliss life. How I will tell you, I used to be the same way. In which way? I was, I was never going to share my stuff with anybody. And then a boy named Rev came along. Aww. <laughs> And then he shared, and he was like willing to share his stuff with me. It was like, hey, you know, because I, I forget there was a show that uh, he and Vicky or whatever were watching, and uh, it was on Hulu. And I was like, oh, I used to have Hulu, but we canceled it because there was just not enough shows on there for us to watch. And then I was like, ah, go ahead and have my password. And I'm like, okay. And then I thought, oh, boy, I had to get myself ready because I knew the day would come that then he would say, hey, you have this and I don't. So, and I was like, but I was like, oh, no, I didn't want to take it at, at the beginning from Rev because I knew then I'd have to give him mine maybe someday. Yeah, take right. it. Right. That's the thing. Now, all of a sudden, you owe him a password. And I had to do it. Yeah, I had to pay up. And then I had to change all my passwords. Like I had to go, I had to come up with a new password that I knew wouldn't be anything like my old passwords. That's the other thing is like, you're giving somebody a password, but what if it's like one of your major passwords that you use on your stuff? It's and like, you, I, I, you know. And it's awkward because your password was Rev as a Dingleberry 
four twenty exclamation point. <laughs> and yeah, it change it. The four twenty was so strange with BJ. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I mean, it was that difficult to change, so I just went to four twenty one, and that made everything nice. okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it really was. But you're still a Dingleberry, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got. Well, that you know, you yeah. can, when you get a good password, Steve, you can, you got to hold on to it. Are there certain people? Like, are you just willing to share with whoever? Or does it have to have like have a certain criteria? Oh yeah, I um, I don't like to see. For me, I don't like to do it. I just feel like oh, it's not right in my own brain. But actually, I you know, I, I've I've come to peace with that. But yeah, I. Um, you've got to be like a really, really good friend who I trust and not, and not even a really, really good friend. I got to just trust you're not an idiot. Right. Be- you know what I mean? You, I, I have friends that I think are really good friends and, but I think they're idiots. So well, there's so no that's way why you're not sharing passwords with me. I got exactly. It. I'm just right, like, fine. dude, I'm, I, 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 you know, um, you know, back in the days when I used to go up to uh, Canada and do those seminars, that, that was one question that was always asked. Who would you trust your money with to take care of your family? Like you, you go here. Here's all my money. Ooh. Take care of my family because I'm not able to do it. That's the that you whoever that person is. That's the only person I give my passwords to. Right. And you know that's different than most of the friends that I have. All right, you're going to pick one person on the show that you're going to trust your money with. Who is it going to be? Oh, whoa! You know what? I I I, I feel like it would be Vicky. Vicky. Wow. Yeah. Because I know Vicky, does she, you, you can't give her, you know how Vicky doesn't even take anything? Yeah. So I don't think she would steal anything. You know, she doesn't even take presents when she deserves them. She's still like, I don't want this. It's like, but you really deserve it. You're like really good at your job. I didn't hear this. You, you know, know what's like, funny about that? It. You have two children that work on the show and you didn't even pick one of them. <laughs> I was going to say, sorry, Joan <laughs> Sarah. There goes that inheritance. Think about it. There wasn't even like a thought. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, I, I you know, totally go with your daughter. I'd give all, I, I let her handle all of my <laughs> Listen, money. Listen, honestly, she that. wouldn't be a bad choice because she doesn't spend any That's money. That's a good point. Now, yeah, I, she doesn't like spending. And she's honest to a fault. Yes. yes. Now, your son, on the other hand, not so much. I don't know. He might go to Vegas. And, yeah. And like, take his best friend Danny with him. Danny, definitely not. He'd get yeah. drunk and, and yes. buy cherries for oh, squirrels yeah. to feed them. <laughs> That's yeah. also true. And, now, and Steve, I want to be raccoons, fair. Raccoons, but yeah. I want to be fair because it's a good punchline, but I mean, I, look, my, I, I was not including my kids. I thought it was somebody outside your family. Dude, Father's that Day is not question. that close. Yeah. You can yeah. really redeem yourself yeah. by Father's Day. It's going to be fine. I will tell you this. This is going to be surprising, but I'm going to give him credit because, I mean, Joey Dees, even though he does like to go to Vegas and, and Spain, and, but, but Joey Dees is actually pretty, he's very honorable. I would trust him in a heartbeat. I think he would take care of everybody because he's got a big heart, and I don't think he would serve himself before serving other people. It, that, that, so, yeah, if I, mean, I, I trust both my kids. My kids, I think, you know, Sarah's taking care of me now. I mean, you know, she's she's just like, you know, you, you you can't. But, but I mean, out of on, like, people outside my family, look, I love you guys. But, yeah, I, I got to go with Vicky. Sorry. I mean, Steve, I don't know if you'd be number two either. I'm sorry. No, I would spend your money in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Whatever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, yeah uh, I'd, I'd be using your, your Kickstarter account. I'm doing yeah. it all, man. Yeah. And I, and I don't think Rev would want the job because I know no. Rev recently, Rev recently has had to become an adult in certain situations and take care of things. And I think he'd be like, yeah, don't even give me your money. I don't want the job. Yeah. Being I'm, an adult is BS, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. You know, it's a yeah. funny part. Like, though, I would have no problem sharing my information with any of you guys. Like, I, I don't really have really? anything, which is crazy to think, but that's kind of a, a testament to you losers that it's true you've told <laughs> us your greatest password dong lover 69 you're right you've right. shared that very quickly i share with everyone even the rockaholics yeah. i trust all yeah dong yeah. lover 69 <laughs> money sign yeah oh yeah dollar bills y'all so it's like dong lovers but yeah. yes of course that way yeah. yeah yeah you need that kind of money sign thing <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if you, i don't know if you guys heard this uh there's a teacher that uh, set the alphabet song to Corn's Coming Undone. Nice. What? And how about Jonathan Davis got wind of this and responded to the video? The teacher's name is Nick Harrison, and you know, you, you gotta love this. And it's time to say our alphabet. Oh, This guy is the king. Oh man, how By do I get way, him to do that for dude. all the children's toys that Tatum has? Because 
every talking children's story we have, at some point we'll bust into the alphabet song. Oh, yeah, his version's great. By the way, if you see this guy, Rev, I don't know if you saw this guy, wouldn't he make a great wizard? He's got an amazing oh, wizard's beard. Hell yeah, I've actually oh, seen man. him on TikToks before. Usually he'll be like singing in his car, but it's all metal all the time. Like, this dude is so badass. Yeah, love this dude. And he's a sure. Yeah. How cool is that? You know, you just, I don't know why, but I never thought any of my teachers were cool. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> so no. that's why it's like, it's, it's, something's <laughs> changed in life. I never well, thought you know any what the, my teachers would be this cool. But the weird thing is, I'm sure some of his students don't think he's cool. Like, oh, Grandpa using that old song by Corn. Who listens to Corn? You know, oh, that's a good point. We're yeah, all like, that's cool and current, but Corn's like an old person's band, probably to right. the eye of like a 12 year old. I don't know. Very, when I, when yeah. I was in high school, my freshman year, I walked into my English teacher's classroom, and he had a big Kiss poster. He's the biggest Kiss fan in the nice. entire world, and he would like get dressed up, and and we thought it was cool, even though like Kiss was like ancient by the time I was in high school. It was like like, this guy, this guy knows how to rock. Yeah. I, I, see, that's my, my, I don't remember any of my teachers. I had one science teacher that I thought was cool, but he was just after my sister, so I, I, I don't think he was that cool. Whoa. Yeah. He was, well, he was a, he was a young dude, he was a young dude, and my sister was already out of high school. This was my nine-year-older sister. Oh, he's so, hot for sister. So he was, yeah, I, I was like, wow, this guy's wanting to drive me, you know, he's like, yeah, I'll drive you home, but then I realized, oh, he just, he's, now he's chatting up my sister. Oh, I see what's going on, because she had come to the school one time to pick me up, and I'm like, oh, you know, I was a dumb kid, go, I didn't know about romance, but then I finally, a couple of my friends go, dude, your science teacher, I think, is really trying to get at your sister. I'm like, no, I don't, oh, and I thought, but it's me, I thought I was special. No, you're not special. No, he's like, <laughs> I have a question about that teacher, though. Like, what age students is he teaching? I mean, like I, kindergarten, kindergarten, right? Kindergarten, yeah, it's totally kindergarten. Yeah. That's just very scary to have a guy <laughs> singing. I guess, yeah, that is kind of aggressive <laughs> for kindergarten. Hey! <laughs> Dude, that would be wild. Little, tiny metal heads head banging. That's cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> or if, what if you like? What if you have a little kid going off to kindergarten and you and she's I learned my ABCs today and you're expecting the normal alphabet song and she just metals out on you. I wonder how many parents are getting that rude awakening. Because the first I'm watching, I'm like, man, that would have been cool to have him as a teacher in high school. Then I'm like, why would he be teaching us the alphabet if we were in high school? Well, Steve, on a special episode, <laughs> right? <laughs> Honestly, at that point, I wouldn't be surprised if he was teaching high school kids. <laughs> We're just going to refresh for here. Well, listen, this, uh, you know, listen, this remote learning has really stunted a lot of people's learning. So you might have to go back to the basics when they get back in there. He also does uh, radio as well. He's a sideline reporter. Wow, this guy does everything. Wow. Man, this guy is like, this guy's kind of amazing, I have to say. I, 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 he might be my new hero. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, Rev's like, he's, he's on TikTok, he's a sideline reporter, he's doing a cool alphabet, Jonathan Davis is giving him, like, some props. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, man, guy's got a cooler life than me, and a better <laughs> beard, that's for sure. Hell yeah, he does. Thank you. Sorry. Well, thanks, Rev. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we got this mom that did something completely insane. And it was all so that she could get her daughter's rivals off of her cheerleading team. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> I'll tell you all about this at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. 
New on Curiosity Stream. Deformed trees, mutated wildlife, and no humans for miles. Ten years after the disaster at Fukushima, see what this irradiated ecosystem can teach us about nuclear fallout on Radioactive Forest. Plus, looking for the most diverse marine life on the planet? Dive into the Coral Triangle and experience a frenzy of wildlife you've got to see to believe on nature's greatest secret. It's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. This story is really disturbing. This is about a 50-year-old woman uh, who's in Pennsylvania. Her daughter is in high school and is on the traveling cheerleading team called the Victory Vipers. And the mother came up with a plan to get her daughter's rivals off the team. Don't you want, isn't like it's a team thing. Don't you want them all to be on the team together? Like, don't you work together? I'm confused by that. If she's on the team, wouldn't you want her to be happy with the teammates? Yeah, I, you know, Steve, I'm with you. The only thing I think of is, is that maybe she's not as big of a star uh, on the team. She might be like on the bottom of that pyramid. And she was yeah. At the top. <laughs> so mom was like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these deep fake photos and videos that made it look like those girls that were her rivals were drinking, vaping, and naked. Wow. And then she anonymously sent those pictures to the team's coach and also to the girls themselves, which, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, well, how do you think that that in any way, shape, or form is appropriate? I, 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 she even urged the girls to kill themselves. Oh my gosh. Like she, I mean, this is, this she is just like a real awesome mom. It just continues to get worse and worse cool. as we go deeper into this story. I think you showed me a mugshot of her and I don't know why, but it's bothering me. She has like no lips. Ah! Wow, I mean, she that, has like like very like it's, it's a weird whoa. thing. You have to Google search it if you, you yeah, gotta check it off. It's, she looks like a mime. It's just a weird thing, and I mean, and on top of it, like we're hearing the story of how crazy she is, so it just makes the picture look even more crazy. Yeah, yeah dude, that is a very very chilling picture. Never I trust mean, a woman with no lips. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> wow, it's a very very good point, Steve. It's an adage to live by. Mm -hmm. Now, the only good news out of this is that uh, the reports say that there's no sign that her daughter knew that she was doing any of this. So I'm I'm happy about that. You know, you'd like to think that you know that this was just one person off the rails. Um, and the coaches, of course, and the parents called the cops. They figured out, oh, yeah, they, they were able to trace all these pictures and videos back to that mother. Um, and, uh, yeah, she got arrested. Cyber harassment of a child and other right. charges. Do I you mean, think really. think daughter had anything to do? I mean, it seems they, odd that mom is just like that obsessed with making sure her daughter's, you know what I mean? I the reports like are saying the daughter didn't have, they, they have no signs that the daughter had, had anything to do with this. I mean, I'm not surprised when you see things like dance moms, how competitive yeah. and how crazy these moms can be, either because they want to feel special that their kids are succeeding, or maybe she missed out on being a cheerleader when she was younger, or was a cheerleader and she just wants to relive it again through her daughter. You're the only right. th Or the only thing that I thought too, I mean, and this is giving them a lot of credit, so maybe not, but maybe like the daughter said, like, like, hey, these girls are bullying me at school. And so she like wanted to get back at them or hmm. something. You know what I mean? Because they do say rivals. And rivals, to me, make it seem like she had a problem with these she had girls. beef. Yeah. I mean, it so, sounds like a premise to a really bad Hallmark movie or something. Yeah. Or like, even like one of those like Mean Girls type movies. But it's just like way over the top. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I. I mean, I, you know, I've grown up with, with, with parents that were just really, really crazy when it came to their kids and team sports and things like that. And I thought, okay, you are, you are way over the top. You need to, you need to take to dial this back. You know, parents getting into fights with other parents at little league games and things like that. But this is just, how do you think in your brain that this is not horrible? Well, like, what? I think she, they can't let her out until they really evaluate her from a mental health standpoint. She's not well in the head. But I mean, she clearly is very good at Photoshop. It's very weird. Dude, those deep fakes, have you seen the deep fakes? I mean, they're insane how, right. I mean, I mean, there there are people that feel like they, they made deep fakes of, uh, well, spoiler alert, when, uh, you know, the last season of The Mandalorian, we had a very special guest star in the last episode. And people did side by side comparison of the CGI of that special guest because they had to make him look how he looked when he was young. And then they saw, so then people showed deep fakes that they just made on their own. Somebody just made deep fakes. And the deep fake actually looked more convincing of this supposed character than the CGI version. It's crazy. 
Yeah, so D, I mean, I, I, I don't know how good she was at it, but it probably, it, it could have looked like those girls were really doing what she was deep faking them to make them look I, like they were doing. I hope she was really bad at it. Like, you know what I mean? So that way it's so, be, because you know people are going to share these stupid videos and pictures because that's just what young idiots do. And I'd hope that, like, it's so obvious that it's not real. That way at least these poor kids aren't, like, put in a weird position that these not these fake naked naked pictures of them are out there on the internet, you know, being shared, and it's it's obvious that it's not them. You know what I mean? I hope you're right, dude. I mean, you know, our buddy Caesar likes to send a lot of deep fake stuff to us all the time, and I'll tell you, yeah, but it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's, those you know, are those are poorly yeah, done. Caesar's really, you know, I mean, I don't know. I think he's really dancing and doing music videos. I never thought you were Lady Gaga, BJ. I'm just going to put yeah. that out there. It's you all never right. did because I I thought I was like, you know what? I think I'd make a good Lady Gaga. Caesar yeah. yeah. just did one. What he did one of Vicky. Yeah, just the other day. Yeah. Did you guys see that one? I haven't seen the one of Vicky. Uh, it's Baby Iron Man or Little Vicky as Iron Man. Oh yeah, yeah. that was adorable. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just a really bad. Photoshop. Oh, that's yeah, that's a bad version. Vicky's that's a bad face on a kid wearing an Iron Man outfit. Yeah, that that yeah that. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's. But you know what? That that's a great look. I mean, it really is. I mean, well, that's what I mean. Like, I wanted to almost not. You want it to be like so obviously bad, so at least that person can be like, "You guys really believe that's me? That's yeah. not. It's clear it's not me vaping. Yeah, that's like it's not even the same gender. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I hope you're. I hope you're right about that, Steve. Man, that's, what an uh, embarrassing thing though for the daughter when she does. If she, if she had nothing to do with it, and then she finds out, that's a tough one to recover from. Your crazy yeah. mom. That's my crazy mom. Yeah, you're right, Steve. That's a beating. Because I think about all the times like my dad, my mom, not so much. Well, I guess she did kind of embarrass me because uh, there was a meeting amongst parents to tell my mom that they're not going to let their kids come over to our house because my mom was letting us watch n naughty movies, not like porn, but, you know, like spring break and losing it and meatballs and, oh, yeah. and porkies. And so they'd go back to their house with new, new words that they learned at my house. And so, like, the parents had a big talk with my mom about, like, hey... Can you pump the brakes on these movies and can you also maybe use the F-bomb a little bit less? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't like, she wasn't deep faking anyone. It was just bad words. Yeah. My dad would yell at like my hockey teammates when I was a kid and that was embarrassing. Oh, see, but again, that's very, oh. But at least he wasn't deep faking things. Like he wasn't well, like. It's escalating though, Steve. You yeah. know what I mean? That, that, that I mean, I, I don't know if that's considered as bad as deep faking is today. I mean, I, I would like to think it isn't, but I mean, parents just getting way involved in their kids' lives right. like that is not cool. Well, I remember having that talk with my dad. I'm like, stop yelling at my, like, cause he would yell at my defenseman when I was playing hockey cause it was a goalie. And he's like, to the point where one time he took his hat off and hit one of them in the head on the, like, by the okay. bench. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Ooh. the deep fake moment right there. And he's like, and I'm like looking at my dad and then afterwards there's that awkward car ride where I'm like, kind of having to be the mature one. And he's like, Dad, you can't do that. He goes, well, they weren't helping you out. I'm like, it's, you still can't do that. And also, it's not like, I mean, you have this false like view of me. Like, I'm, I'm also letting in crap goals. Like, if anyone should be hitting the head with a hat, it should be me. Like, stop blaming my defense for things that I'm screwing up. Like, you know, it's like one of those kind of a things. Yeah. But it was just like, eventually he calmed down, but also they put up a fence so that parents could get too close. <laughs> Eventually, he calmed down after they put up the fence. But the fence wasn't because of him. The fence was because oh. other parents jumped onto the rink and would start fighting the kids that would get Okay. Hit. Are you so serious? That case, yes. All right. Then your dad probably was the most reserved one there. Yeah, he's <laughs> the most reasonable one at that point. Right. That's what I mean. Like That, that fence was not put up. And then it got so bad because then the parents, were, the, these same idiot parents, and I felt bad for my buddies that had those parents, were climbing the fence to get, into, get on the rink. It was like, oh, that's just, see that? Wow. And, and really, I mean, I think deep fake is the next step. I mean, it just, you know, if those climbing, those fence climbing parents had this ability to do stuff like this, I think they would have pulled this Tanya Harding moment. I mean, seriously, it, 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 it's, it's nuts what people will do, like Vicky said, so that they can be proud yeah. or live vicariously through their kid. So I want to know what, what the hell is a deep fake? It's just like a really good Photoshop to make the person look like that person. But usually don't, done through video, so mm, they're moving too. around mm. and everything. And it, it re, some of these are really, really impeccable. Yeah, yeah especially with those apps mm -hmm. where it's like all of a sudden they can mess your face with somebody, and you're like, "What the hell?" Mm. Yeah, I look just like Lady Gaga. It's amazing. <laughs> totally. I mean, I'm pretty attractive. I gotta say, <laughs> mm -hmm. dear. Yeah, I, 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 knew, I didn't realize that I was working out as well as I did because I'm pretty toned. <laughs> Well, yeah, and just like her, you like meat on your skin. Yeah. What? Well, hey, listen, you know who doesn't? <laughs> hey, Friday, our boy Steve, uh, he got this one wrong.
Ah. Metamorphic, sedimentary, and igneous are all types of what? Sleep. No. Brains. No. Brains? Words. No. Okay, I still, Steve, think that that was correct. He said words. I was looking for a specific answer. All right, that specific answer was rocks. Fine. You want a shot at Petey Steve, you got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. How long is a bankruptcy going to affect my credit rating? Of course, most of the time, by the time we're, we're talking about filing a bankruptcy, the credit has already taken a huge hit. Uh, Chapter 7 is going to affect it more negatively than Chapter 13. Uh, Chapter 7 stays on your credit report for 10 years from the time you file. It usually takes 7 or 8 years for your credit scores to get back into the normal range in a Chapter 7 case. However, your credit will start to recover even in Chapter 7 after about a year. Um, you'll be able to get credit again right away, usually before uh, your case is even over. Uh, chapter 13 stays on your credit report for seven years and usually takes about three or three and a half years for your credit to get back in the normal range. So chapter 13 uh, will mean your credit gets better much more rapidly. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.